Bartenders of Reddit, what is the smoothest pickup line you've ever heard? Sort of an anti-pickup line but I witnessed a drunk girl get decimated at the bar one night. She was hot, and one of those, haha you're cute you should buy me a drink, type girls. Some dumpy looking dude walks up to the bar and orders a Corona and she pulls the hole and put a rum and coke on there for me, insinuating that he should buy her next drink. He looked at her casually and says, make it a rum and diet. And then just walks away. I was speechless. I'd never seen him before and haven't seen him since, sometimes I wonder if he ever existed at all. Dayayayayayam. Not a good pickup line but a good pickup line story. There's a classic which is putting an ice cube on the bar, smashing it with your first and saying, that's the ice broken, want to get a drink. Well an awkward friend of mine decided to try it, smashed the ice and managed to ricochet a piece of it into his own eye before being able to say the line, shouted a profanity and staggered off. The girl was pretty confused. Shy girl regularly comes in with her friend, my co-worker and I are pretty chummy with them so we are chatting all night, letting them try some of the new cocktails slash shots our bar is trialing. We give them one particular shot and the friend says she doesn't like it too much and asks if it's the kind of drink my girlfriend likes, I was single, shy girl picks up her shot, downs it and says yes, it is, then immediately runs out of the building in shyness. We've been dating almost 6 months now. Bartender here. Best pickup I've ever seen was when a group of 3 dudes college aged were at the bar on my end. They started talking about this girl on the other side who is clearly the hottest girl in the bar. One of them jokingly said to another if you can get her number without saying a word to her I'll buy you drinks the rest of the night. The kid who was dared waved me down asked for a pen and napkin he walked over and within 10 minutes came back over girl in hand asking his buddy who bet him for two patron shots. I asked him what he did and he showed me the napkin with her number. He played hangman on the napkin and spelt out, can I have your number? And it actually worked. He and his girl were drinking heavily and for free the rest of the night. He also walked out with her so I hope he scored. Bartended in college. Guy walked up to a girl at the bar, goes, Hi my name is Ben Asterisk, and I'm going to buy you drinks until you find me attractive. Girl smiled and laughed and he asked what she would like to drink. She looked him over, he was already very attractive, turned to me and said, In that case, I'll have a water. He definitely got it that night. The hi I'm Ben line seems to be working, huh. Saw a dude standing at the bar waiting to order drinks when it was his round and a Britney Spears song comes on. He just happily sings along and wiggles his hips, waiting to order drinks. Wasn't showing off or trying to be funny, just happily doing his thing. The chick next to him was staring the whole time laughing and when he noticed, he just smiled and nodded and went right back to it. She took the bait and that was that. I met my current girlfriend while working behind a bar. She got way too drunk so the next time she came up to order a drink I gave her a pint of water and told her she had enough. Her response. Well if you are not going to give me a drink at least give me your number. We have a dog now. I like dogs. Well, I'm a bartender, and so far, we're closing up, but if you want another drink, I live upstairs, has worked exactly 0% of the time. Asterisk edit, thanks guys. Highest rated comment ever is about me not being able to get laid even though I have the perfect setup. Do you actually live upstairs because if not that might be what's holding you back. There is totally a guy living upstairs confused by the number of horny drunk girls showing up at his door asking for a drink at 2am. Not a pickup line, but the smoothest thing I've seen from behind the mahogany. This guy was hitting on this girl at the end of the bar. She asked him, you gonna bring me some roses. And this man took two straws, a napkin, and a lighter and I shit you not made a rose with it. You bet you're she left with him. Kudos, sir. Like a drunk MacGyver. You better have a nice car. Frantically grabs more napkins. I had a group of guys who were all hitting on me but were very funny and not annoying about it, a true rarity, when they paid one left a few extra bucks after already having tipped me on a napkin with his number saying, from the cute one, then I noticed the one of the other guys left a $20 tip with his number and a note saying, from the cuter and smarter one, it cracked me up. The only time I considered reaching out to a customer because I wanted to say thanks for the laugh. Not exactly a pickup line, 
but really clever slash cool way a girl let me know she was interested. I noticed her on the opposite side of the bar and we smiled at each other. I was newly single, she was with a date and obviously bored. Still, she was with a date, and I'm not gonna interrupt and be that kind of douche bag. After a few minutes, I walked around to her side of the bar to head to the bathroom. She stopped me and said, here, your pocket square is messed up. She fumbled with it a sec, said all good and I moved on to the restroom. I got home later and took my blazer off, noticed something was off with the pocket square. She had stealth stashed a napkin with her name and number. I texted that night and we went out later that week. Eleven tenths was impressed with the smooth. Oh, great. Now I've got to go and get pocket squares. I just chew one end of a pop tart until it is perfectly square and put that in my pocket. I work at a bar in Long Beach, New York, male. A female customer was giving me advice on how to hit on my bartender co-worker, female, who is a very close friend of mine. She kept feeding me adorable things to say to my friend because she thought we looked cute together. I thanked her and took one step toward my friend then turned back to her and repeated it all back. She took the bait and it landed me back at her place. Smooth. The woman was probably his co-worker's friend. He was the one that got picked up. I was in another country with friends, and I asked the waitress where the best bar in around was. When she started saying, oh it depends on what you like, I asked her which one I'd likely find her at. My friends thought it was very smooth. I guess she did too. Why is friends italicized? He's just bragging about knowing people. A girl once bet that if she could fit an entire one of the cupcakes we sold in her mouth without using her hands, I would have to give it to her for free. She did and I did. I was so impressed, I got her a free drink too. Six years later, we're still together eating cupcakes and shit. Cupcakes I can understand, but why shit though? Don't kink shame. I'm a bartender. Met my girlfriend when she asked me for two shots of a tequila and Tabasco based shot and then said, that one is for you. I still think she's very cool. Texas Prairie Fires. I've had this happen to me before. It's also really fun to buy them for random people at the bar and watch the look of horror on their faces after they take the shot. It's now my go-to if anyone asks me to make them a shot of my choice. I usually don't tell them what they're about to drink. The best bar people are sadists. They are the ones who will help you get seriously out of your skull. Edit, stray apostrophe. Not a bartender but hooked up with one once. It was closing time and she said, if you don't work here or banging the staff, time to leave. I leaned over and said, I guess I'm staying. With the confidence only a recently divorced man could have. It worked, oddly enough. Actually her line worked on you, not the other way around. I worked at a beach bar. I watched a young guy walk up to a smoking hot, tanned, female lifeguard and say, help I can't breathe. She was legitimately concerned and asked him what was wrong. He said, looking at you takes my breath away. She was pissed for a second then began to laugh. They talked for a little then exchanged numbers. Asterisk edit cause of words. Super late to the party but this is one I can answer. And it just happened a few weeks ago. I cocktail at a bowling alley. A group of high school kids were bowling one night, a bunch of them had class of 2017 shirts or hoodies on. I got off work and walked to the front desk to clock off. One of the boys from that group walks up behind me with a bowling ball in each hand and asks if I can do him a favor. I was caught off guard and it was a little random but I was like, um, sure. So he motions with one bowling ball hand to his hoodie pocket and asks me to grab his phone out for him, and I'm a little skeptical but I reach in with my pointer and thumb and grab it and set it on the counter for him and continue to clock out. But then the kid says, wait. Can you unlock it for me? So, I do. And then he asks me to go to the phone, dial, actually, will you go to the contacts? Now, just put in your number for me. I feel so terrible, I'm pretty sure I humiliated the poor kid, but I apologized and told him that I'm married. He was a cute boy and 10 years ago when I was just getting out of high school that would totally have worked on me. There was a new bartender who had just started at the local ale house, just an absolutely stunning girl. When I ordered she kindly asked for my ID. 
One of the other bartenders waved her off and the interaction unfolded like so. Oh he's a regular you don't need to card him. New girl, oh I would just feel better if I did. Me, it's cool if you want to know my address, it's not far from here. Cue the blushing. Ten tenths smoothest I've ever been.